Welcome to day 39 on our journey to Calvary. The Passover meal has been observed. They have sang a hymn. The disciples and Jesus had gone out to the Garden of Gethsemane, a place in which that Jesus had been so many times in his life. Knowing full well that already the one that would betray him had left the meal, had left that upper room. Jesus knowing that soon the soldiers in the Sanhedrin court would be coming for him and that ultimately a cross would be the next step in the tremendous love that Christ has for us. So that night, Christ would go through a mockery of a trial. He'd be beaten almost to the place of not even being able to be recognized. So close to death. The pain, the agony, the aloneness, all going to be emotions that certainly Jesus was experiencing. His own beloved disciples, they're from Gethsemane. They were going to run away for fear for, the, for their own oneself. And so throughout that night, Jesus would be beaten, mocked, spat upon. That morning, on what we call Good Friday, Jesus, along with two criminals, would be compelled to carry their cross to a place called Golgotha, the place in which that their lives were going to be taken. So the Roman government thought, not realizing that they might take the lives of the two criminals. But Jesus Christ's life was going to be given for us. As Jesus would have a cross laid upon his back and the lash of a whip upon his back to carry it, he would carry it for a short distance only to collapse and they would compel one from the crowd to carry the cross for him. On this day, may we each one remember that Jesus Christ went to the cross on our behalf, taking with him our sins and the sins of the world upon him so that forgiveness could be had for any and all who would simply ask and believe. So on this day, the calls from the crowd and the mall and the mob crucified it happened it happened and Christ as the sponge with the vinegar vinegar and the water would be lifted toward his 
my art. And Christ would cry out, My God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? And he would also cry out, It is finished. And the scripture records that the, that the earthly life went from him. The sacrifice that our Father had asked Jesus to do it has been done. So now we can know that we are saved by the grace of Jesus Christ. So may we on this day recall the events on this what we call Good Friday that Christ gave his life for us. May God bless you.